The Murray-Darling Basin is made up of 77,000 kilometres of river, spans across four states and one territory, and is traditional country to over 40 First Nations. The basin contains over 100 internationally important ecological or cultural sites. The basin also supports irrigation of 7,300 agricultural businesses, contributing over $22 billion annually to the Australian economy. So how does Australia share and manage its water supply to meet all of these needs? Management occurs on many different levels. At the federal level, there's the Murray-Darling Basin Authority, the Department of Agriculture, Water and Environment, and the Commonwealth Environmental Water Office that work together with the First Nation based organisations, the Northern Basin Aboriginal Nations and the Murray Lower Darling Rivers Indigenous Nations. There are also all the state level governments across New South Wales, Queensland, Victoria, South Australia and the ACT. Part of the Murray-Darling Basin management is controlling water flow, supply and storage, which involves a lot of infrastructure. This includes three major storages, the Dartmouth Dam, the Hume Dam and Lake Victoria. There are 14 weirs and 13 locks, including the Yarrawonga Weir as the main irrigation diversion point between the northern and southern basins across the New South Wales and Victoria border. And there's also five barrages constructed near the River Murray Mouth. With this infrastructure, water levels can be managed and water traded upstream or downstream across the Murray-Darling Basin states and territory based on water availability, entitlements and allocations. 